Oh shit, maybe I can put a Bob Ross in the frame. Oh shit! I can put the Bob Ross in the frame, I never thought about that. Here's Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross and Espresso Chan in the same frame. And the guitar, dang! <laughs> I do want that angle to be like higher so you can see. Uh, it's not the best angle for coffee. <laughs> Hi, Dartrix! Good afternoon, good afternoon. I have not been streaming much this, uh, this summer, but it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I definitely want to start streaming more again. Yay! I'll make a an Americano out of it this time. So you kind of have to dilute it with some hot water. That's the espresso! Look at that. I'm still so happy with that espresso machine. I have no idea. It's just... It's just, it's just great. Add some hot water to it. Oh, it just looks like a, a bigger cup of espresso, but it's just like diluted espresso, which is what an Americano is. <laughs> Best luxury purchase ever that I've done. It's good to be here. What is this? Oh, it's my stream title stuff. And then Photoshop time. <laughs> There's so many things I want to do with this stream in the coming weeks and months. But it all starts with uh, clearing some commissions. <laughs> I do have some commissions to clear. That's why we're gonna go with just a couple of classic emote streams for now. Some uh, some OG music. Wait, where are you from, Dotrix? I'm. Uh, oh yeah, I'm from Eastern Canada. Uh, from the well from Quebec the French region But I moved I moved to Ontario very close by very close to Ottawa um, It's 1 36 p.m. And we might be close you might I don't know if you live here, but <laughs> Because okay, never mind. It's not like 90 well the way you said 90 I know that you're counting in Fahrenheit, so that tells me that you're from the States. <laughs> it's like the only place in the world where you count in Fahrenheit. Caribbean? Oh, wow! You live there, that's amazing. Do you like it over there? It's such a classic travel destination. I always wonder how it's like to live in those places that we consider, you know, some great travel destinations for the weather and everything. The sights, but living there, it's always, it's always different. <laughs> for example, I feel like Mexico is a great place to visit. But I know even from having worked, like when I was a janitor, I had some friends that moved from Mexico and they were telling me, well, they, they, were, always, they were always whining about the Canada's weather. <laughs> they liked just shitting on Canada, but then I'm like, well, why did you come uh, here then if Mexico and South America is so much greater? Then they were getting real with me and they were just, they were saying like, 
there is nothing that can compare to the, the the sense of safety and security that you have in Canada in comparison to uh, you know Mexico. They were telling me like they had to pay the mafia uh, every time they had to pay rent. Like <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so some places like that, there's a bit less security, right? I don't know about the Caribbean though. I have I don't know much about the Caribbean. I have yet to discover the world. <laughs> I'm very ready to discover the world. I finally have my financial freedom and security. I'm so ready to travel, but then COVID happened. I have this big list of like countries in order of visit. It's good, but in my opinion, it has lots of points that aren't that good. Canada is the bears. <laughs> it's not dangerous though, that's the thing. Well, if you go up north to like Yukon, like those northern area, like, you know, right next to Alaska, there's the Yukon and those territories. Those, yeah, those are dangerous. Like the, that's the only area that I would say that the nature is wild or dangerous in Canada is up north there. There's almost no one living there. It's just some small territories, some small villages. And uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of stories of like grizzly bears at attacks over there. You can get hungry, it's the tundra, it's uh, it's arid. Is arid an English term? Arid. I love that. I love that. I love that. Every, every fancy word that I just steal from French is a legit word in English. Every time. But, um, you know, most of Canada's population live in the southern border. The whole border of Canada, basically. That's where uh, we all live. And, yeah, the nature is not dangerous here. I. <laughs> Like, the, we don't get grizzlies down here, we just get cute brown bears that are basically harmless. I went on a hiking trail last year in the Gatineau Park, it's a nice big park with a lot of trails and uh, I, I saw a baby bear and none of the people walking were afraid of it, it's just... Yeah, they're not very dangerous. Grizzlies are a whole different thing than brown bears or black bears. Yeah, grizz grizzlies. You have to be afraid of grizzlies for sure. They are super like territorial. They're they're a danger to humans. But uh, yeah, they live in the far north. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, we bear bears? I don't know that show. Comedy. A comedy from 2015. Like that episode? Do they meet a grizzly bear and he's mean? Why is there a panda in there? It's not a bear. I guess it's a type of bear. <laughs> So they have a polar bear, brown bear, <laughs> and a panda. Getting good, it took me so many hours gathering my energy to stream. Uh, I've been heavily affected by the side effects of my medicine. Because I have an autoimmune disease, I have Crohn. Crohn's disease. Uh, it's not the worst thing to live with. You know, it's okay. <laughs> it's just a thing that I have that I have to live with. Um, but yeah, we switched medicine uh, early this year, and I'm starting to get a lot of like pretty severe side effects. So I've been trying to call to get a to schedule an appointment with my GI, my doctor, just uh, just to see how my test results are doing. 
and if uh, I don't know, if those side effects are concerned because they're starting to affect my my work there's like yeah it affects like a two days and a half of my week and that's a lot of days where I would feel a bit tired not productive I would feel some nausea too and some weird stomach pain now it's kind of weird The rest of the week, I'm like doing amazing. <laughs> it's just those two, three days. Eh. It's, it's enough. It's enough of a problem to talk about it to my doctor. Hi, service. Hope you get better. Thank you. Hey, overall, I'm doing, uh, doing great. Just. Small things, small normal concerns to talk to my doctor about. You're a tropical, the change of winter would not support it, you think so? Well, lately, <laughs> during summer, like, it's been such a hot summer. Look at that. It's always like 30 ish Celsius right now with humidity. So, honestly, the summer here would be would not be uh, very different from your area, I think. I mean, you would fit pretty well here. <laughs> um, but of course, winter is very different. It, it's a change. And I get what you mean. It would be the same thing for me moving to like California. I would hate it. Um, <laughs> Because I would miss my winter. I love in Canada the change of seasons. The four seasons are drastically different worlds completely. It's very intense how different they are, this, the four seasons, and I love that. It makes the year feel all different. And, you know, gr having grown up here, of course, I love winter sports, I love skiing. And I dearly miss it. I'll have to go ski soon this, year, this uh, next winter. We're gonna introduce Crystal to skiing. She's never skied before, so it's gonna be a bit hard at first for her. Skiing is pretty hardcore. I, I never realized that until I was much older because I grew up skiing, snowboarding. But I realized, wow, that's a pretty hardcore sport. Like, <laughs> one wrong turn and you could just die. Like it's pretty, it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> But it's such a beautiful sport and you're up there in the mountains and you see the horizon and, or the, the night lights if it's at night and evening and with little snow falling. It's so amazing. It's amazing. It's the highlight of my life, really, skiing. You've never seen snow? Wow! <laughs> Well, I'm sure that eventually you'll travel and you'll get, you'll get to experience different weathers. I'm sure you will welcome it. <laughs> Change is fun. Um, you have your tablet in mouse mode. What's mouse mode? <laughs> Hi, genius! Speaking of people that live in, in foreign, uh, hot places, we have Genius here. <laughs> Hi Genius, how are you? From, uh, from Maurici, right? Or Mauritia in English, I'm, I'm never sure how to say it in English. I love Twitch for that. People from the Caribbean and Mauritia and all the places. Doing great? How are you? The greatest thing about me coming back from vacation is I'm on a really early schedule right now, waking up at 8. I love it. It's so hard for me to keep 
it's such a battle for me to not go to bed later and later every day. It always is. But oh my god, I love waking up early. It feels so much more productive. So I will fight to try to keep this schedule for as long as I can. I hate that it's my my current problem with my meds and side effects. That is the making it the hardest for me to keep that schedule. Because it makes me a bit tired. I take my crown meds and during the weekend I'm like super groggy and tired. It makes me sleep longer. It's hard <laughs> to keep the an early schedule. But I will surely try. From Norway, nice! <laughs> I love it. You have a Canada emote, nice. Every country is welcome here. We're all the same. <laughs> So I think I have like six-ish emotes to make for this client, Nikki Taylor. Nikki is known for having sang uh, one of the League of Legends World Tournaments uh, song, one of the earlier ones. She was a great song, and she also streams and plays a lot of League of Legends. Um, those are two of her three little mascots. Uh, they're just here, they're just all emotes that I'm using for. Um, uh, uh, what's, what's the name? Uh, for inspiration? Nah, that's not the word. <laughs> Multinational national stream. Yeah! I love that. I like learning about those countries and cultures. Can't wait to travel everywhere. There's a camera. got a new microphone. I love it so much! <laughs> it's my dream microphone, SM7B. I've been wanting it for even longer than I've been streaming. Because, um, you know, I used to make music and, well, of course I'll make music again eventually. I have to keep saying that because I don't like that I haven't been playing music for like five years. Because now I just have, you know, to make a choice between art and music as a main field to pursue. So I chose art, but I'm also you know, I'm also a musician, and I don't want to lose that side of me. But it will absolutely come back. I'll make music for my YouTube videos and, and just for content eventually. But yeah, so I always loved having some audio gear, recording gear, a mixer, and everything. <laughs> and I love that. I, it's like two birds, one stone when I buy audio gear because of music recording but also streaming. So this was uh, an investment, I'm very happy with it. It doesn't sound as good when I'm live because I have my air conditioner running really loudly. So I have like a very big audio filter on top of my voice and everything. So, the, so you can't really hear the actual quality of this microphone. But when I... My, my next YouTube videos will sound really good. <laughs> because I close the AC and then I record. You want to make music? You love singing. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Everybody can make music. It's a beautiful thing about music. It's the universal language. Okay, next emote. A cute, cute emote with this dog. Do I have other references of this dog? I thought, I thought we had more. This one. Okay. 
Okay, so this one doesn't have floof. The other ones had a little bit of floof in the head. Hmm. Chill art stream today. It's a metal album for the energy. <laughs> yeah, I need the energy today. I can't believe how this machine elevated my coffee game. <laughs> I was uh, on French press, which French press is like the best quality of non-espresso coffee, I would say. The French press, if you grind your beans fresh, make French press, it's definitely better coffee than like uh, drip coffee. It's great coffee. But an espresso machine makes such good coffee. I might listen to some more chill music later, but I need a boost. This music is like coffee to me. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Music boost! How have you been, genius? How's work doing? How's everything? Do I have a picture reference of her dog that would help? I might have to go on her. <laughs> might have to stalk her on Instagram. I do that sometimes with my clients. Nikki. Instagram. You've been good? Kinda scared because you're starting college in January. I didn't realize you were so young. I forgot about that, I guess. <laughs> about just about to start college. Nah, that's exciting. I think school after high school becomes much better. Well, at least in my experience. You're 18 only. Fuck. Because <laughs> I feel like I've known you for like three years. Well, you know, like th you were hanging out here like three years ago. <laughs> you were just that young. Um, yeah, college is nice, you know? Even in most countries, because, yeah, even in Canada, uh, the equivalent of college here was a pretty good experience to me, and that's how I met some of my long-term, long-time friends, my best friends group. And it was like no bullies in college, you know? Because, I don't know, bullies get kind of frowned upon or clowned at, really. It's like, it's, it's, it's becoming a time where
all time be on the side of Twitter, the Twitter mob, you know? If the Twitter mob is just crucifying a creator, the drama channel will have to be on the side of the audience and just crucify the creator. And yeah, it's, it's weird because it's like their opinions are not necessarily very genuine. That's what I noticed. They just go with the trend. Oh, people hate Shane Dawson now, so I guess I'll make a video shitting on Shane Dawson, you know? <laughs> so, for me, I always think about stuff like that, because I, I observe a lot of YouTube content right now, because I'm in a place with my... because I'm trying to grow my own channel, and I have to really think about what will be my identity as a content creator there. And uh, it's... It's very hard for me to do that. <laughs> I'm someone who could enjoy doing so many different things, but I have to choose one, and it's hard for me. <laughs> it's so hard. I have so many passions. At least now I can at least think that, okay, it's gonna be at least art-based. I can agree to that. <laughs> and I've been loving commentary style videos, so my videos all have somewhat some commentary. And I like that. And I think I can keep that. Um, and now from there, what direction can you take? You could go talk about other YouTubers, could talk about trendy topics like that. But that's a double-edged sword, <laughs> like I just talked about. If you remotely talk about some drama, it's, just, it's such a double-edged sword. Woo! You, could, you would get more views, but you burn, you burn bridges, you, you get some haters. I don't think I don't think I would like that type of thing. It's not a it's not a great look for like an artist to get in the middle of drama. Some people do it and they do well, but I don't really envy that. Now for me, I have to steer away from from beefing with people. I love doing commentary on uh, my channel but I don't think I would go on one-on-one -on -one beefs with any creators at all ever because the future of my content is probably just creative stuff like just literally making a series of animated illustrated stories and you know it would be purely creative um hi D-Roy that's right, Dummy Metal! How are you doing today, d -Roll? Thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. I'm here! I'm early! I have been waking up so early! <laughs> the art scene on YouTube at all? It's been weird? I'm just happy to hear that it's, that it's evolving for sure. I feel like animators are doing amazing. People love animation. It's easier to just put your focus on the video and watch the whole thing instead of it being like some background thing. It's, I feel like animation is a great format for artists and tutorials. And I hate tutorials. I won't. <laughs> I will do them just to grow, but ultimately, that's not what I'm about. You know? um, Animations are something I could have done, or I could do. Um, I don't think I need that. I have to think about what's my end goals, you know, and my biggest passion projects eventually will be storytelling. My whole channel could just become 
two main series. My commentary series, my coffee time doodles, and a storytelling series. That's what I see myself doing long term. And whether I make uh, webtoon series like mangas, you know, my own my own series, or a more like YouTube format version of that, I won't need like straight up animation. Now, nah, if anything, I can just softly animate my images or whatever, or just put images after images. You know, I don't need animation. I don't need to be everything. I don't need to be an animator to get the same effect. I think. I think you can definitely do storytelling with moving images instead of just animation. So yeah, many choices I have to make with my channel so hard. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You know? I love where I'm at with my channel, where I have this series called Coffee Time Doodles. Coffee time doodles and the concept of this series is so vague that I can easily transform it however I want although I'm gonna catch up with chat but yeah once I figure out the format that works the best for me and it actually drives some traffic um, I'll be able to stick with that new format because the, the concept is so vague it's just art and commentary oops that is coffee time doodles for me so this can be many different things at first I just I was just talking about games that I like animes that I like you know just whatever <laughs> it might become anything else I don't know like on this one here, I talked about my experience working with Valkyrie as an emote artist. I still made it a Coffee Time Doodles episode. And this one is doing really well, this video. So yeah, it's still commentary and art. Like me drawing something, fan art in the background, and just having some text talking over it. It's been a good format. So I'll keep trying things with that until I find what works. But I'm still proud of these old videos. And yeah, I like it where this is going. I just need to make hundreds more. <laughs> so that eventually it works well. Speed art animation channels. And story time channels have risen. Really? What do you mean by that? Tell me. Um, this is good knowledge for me. If you consume this type of stuff. Story time channels. Yeah, what do you mean by story time channels? For example, Illimation has a great commentary style channel that I think I can relate to in the, way, in the way that I would see myself doing similar content. She tells stories like uh, the shittiest uh, roommate experience and then she will just kind of softly animate it you know she will just kind of cheaply animate it and just tell her story. Animation. Oh, I think yeah, I think I meant Jaden animation. Animation. You're right. Jaden animations. She went like commentary style, telling stories and animating them. Well, telling stories, you know, all about her life, experiences, stuff like that. And that's something I could see myself do too. Her style of commentary slash art. I see myself doing that, minus the animation, but it might be harder to grow without the animation part, with just illustration. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it can work.
lots of these channels stop because they lost the exposure they used to get. Hmm. With just straight animation. Oh, absolutely. I agree with Genius there. Um, right now, YouTube seems to favor quantity over quality a little bit. Look at the creators that do the best out there. It's like PewDiePie and... Um, what's his name? Markiplier. You know, they just post every single freaking day. While animators can only post like once per week or two weeks, it's so much work. It's they put so much work, <laughs> and they won't get more views. They just won't. Then entertainment videos that are done daily. So sometimes, yeah, changing your format a bit can help. Hmm. And I guess that's what Jaden Animation people are doing a little bit more commentary style hmm like find a middle ground between like animation channel and commentary entertainment hi gamer girl is the plus toys emote with the arms cross new I haven't seen it before. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> I made that. And he didn't want to use this emote. Because the expression in his face was too much like the this one, the hmm one. I thought this emote was so good though. This pose, this frame, this expression. It's a great emote. But he thought the expression was too close to the other one. <laughs> His loss. This grumpy emote is great. You'll have to tell him that. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi, Roll. Great to see you guys. Good afternoon. It's always nice to see your own personal growth. Story time channels. Such as Odds One Out. I also wonder how how hard it could be for me to grow a channel um, doing the same commentary style as Jaden Animations. How do you get through that algorithm for people to find your video where the title is uh, my worst, like my example earlier, my worst roommate experience? It's a title that would be great if I already had subs. My subs would be, oh, that's compelling, I want to hear that story. But random people? How do random people search for that? So Jaden obviously is big enough where they can get a big boost from just their subscribers. There are certain content and titles that work best when you're already successful. And that don't go as well when you're just starting. I have to think about all of that. And I might have to be a bit more clickbaity at my level. Take more risk, be more clickbaity, you know. <laughs> Just grab grab the views however you can. <laughs> it's hard. There are a lot of things, a lot of ideas that I have 
that I'm only keeping for when I'll be more successful. It's just hard for me to get started. I'll just have to be patient. Just email paperwork, Dave. Yeah, my day's doing well, Brian. Just trying to get the doctor appointment still. I don't know what's going on. You're not calling me back. I've been having some weird side effects with my meds, so I just wanna... wanna... Yeah. <laughs> wanna make sure everything is alright. Yeah, my roommate did this <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clickbait more. I mean, it's all about titles. I don't believe that my content is bad. I think my YouTube content will keep improving but i think it's still it's still good it's just in, in the early stage where i just don't get views i just don't get views <laughs> it's it's gonna be hard to prove to youtube that my content should be watched It's hard to figure out who my content is catering to and how do I grab them with titles and thumbnails because it's all about titles and thumbnails. The amount of views is only related to how good your title and thumbnail are. So, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Like my low-key video, I had no idea what to do for title. I had a suggestion from someone in chat and I just added that. I was like, I'm done, I just can't figure out how to cater to anyone with my titles. Because my content is entertainment, commentary, and art. Who do I cater to? Art lovers? Entertainment lovers? I don't know. <laughs> And how do I grab any of them with my titles? It's so hard. So, people think I should cater to art a bit more? People that like art? I don't know. If my title was... Uh, like I've been thinking, I could make a video like more like Jaden animation style of commentary. Like uh, five five worst humiliating moments of my life. That would be a good eye-catching topic. Like, oh, that sounds fun. Like, if, if Jaden comes out with this title, I'll click on it for sure. Um, but then there would be a background of art. So it would still be art content. Emo tutorials? No! <laughs> It's not ultimately what I want to do. I will make some more though. I will make some more for as long as they get more views than my other content. <laughs> but ultimately I want to grow out of it. It's so hot. It's like the worst summer. Look at that shit. 72% humidity, plus heat. This whole summer is just terrible with the weather. Daddy. 
Reddish girl, nice and sweet. Never in the phone, mommy's funny. Little time of time to see the pressure from the so called friends for simply too much. The monkey slowly climbed on her back, offering to aid on her pain, giving blood and care. But yeah, overall it's good news to me if uh, the story time concept works well. Because I see myself doing some of that. But instead of doing the commentary over an animation like Jaden, I would do it over an artwork, illustration. The artwork will be background content. I don't know if it's a good concept. But see, again, my my uh, series title, Coffee Time Doodles. There's so many different types of videos that can fit in it, that even if I change my mind about the concept, it's going to fit the title in this. Alright, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I drawing? Damn it! some sushi but I come back from vacation I ate a lot of bad food so I have to take it easy for like a week at least without ordering anything but the next thing that I order it's sushi Hey guys, finally the FDA approved the vaccines today. So everyone around me that, have, that are holding on because they, they need more information to see if the vaccine is safe, well now they need a new excuse.
he's playing guitar so much. Guys, I was talking about uh, Diablo 2 the other day and how it's gonna be really hard for me not to play it and I'm probably gonna play it a little bit because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Well, it's been out for like a, a week already and I didn't know. But it's on open beta, so I guess it's not that crazy. But you know what's crazy? It's how not popular it is on Twitch. Am I right about this? Like, nobody cares about this game? If I go and browse... I have channels... No, categories... Okay, viewers high to low. So where is Diablo? Diablo 3? Wow, Diablo 2 is even lower than that. Okay, classic Diablo 2 is even more popular than Diablo 2 Resurrected. Where is the... <laughs> what? Diablo 2 Resurrected has only 600 viewers. You think it's because people are mad at Blizzard? You think that's it? Hi, Walisa. I don't know. Uh, this is so weird. But I mean, Diablo 2... <sighs> it's a boomer game at this point, right? Like, people were hyped for Warcraft, uh, Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Classic, but even then, it was kind of a, a short, a short thing, short fad. I don't know how much Diablo 2 will be popular. It will be for the nostalgics like me. But so does it cater to people that are like in their 30s? Hmm. It's one of the greatest games of all time, but like. How much will it be popular for the new kids, the new gamers? I don't know. And also, how popular can a bet an open beta be? I mean, if it was a big, super hype game, I think people would play, would be hyped about the open beta. So I don't know. I have, I still haven't seen it. That looks like the old Diablo, what's going on? That's the old Diablo. Was I trolled? My friend told me that the open beta has, was, was out there. But all I see here is the old Diablo. If you haven't seen or played Diablo, it's one of the greatest games of all time, including Diablo 1. Like, there's a reason why Diablo is so known, that even though Diablo 3 was not successful at launch. It's because of the legacy of Diablo 1 and 2. They were the greatest games of their time. The greatest, like, online games. For many reasons, they were fantastic. Um... I played Diablo 2 like for five years full time. I have some met some friends from that game. It's been amazing. Um, and I love this like fantasy horror and you know, I like I love I love horror. Um, Diablo 2 remake. What's going on here? Because I don't see any Diablo 2 remake here. You know what I mean? So what's going on here? Maybe the open beta is already closed? Maybe that's what's going on? People are tired of all the remakes. I mean, that's one that I wanted for a long time. Like before a lot of remakes were done, I was thinking the yeah, Luther remake would be fun. I agree with you though. I mean, 
I don't care much for remakes overall. Like, I can see myself, like, when Diablo 3 came out, it was a bad time for me. It was a rough time. And the game was shit when it came out, but they, like, they adjusted everything that was wrong with it until it became supposedly, allegedly, a good game. Um, same with Path of Exile, it's been, like, the ultimate, like, Diablo-style game since Diablo 2. But, uh, yeah, I haven't... Couldn't find the time to play this type of game, but I don't know. If there's a Diablo 4 eventually and it looks good, I might want to play that. I might want to play it. Man, I know it's coming. They're actually working on Diablo 4. Hmm. But of course, I don't expect Blizzard to keep the passion, the quality, the streak that they have. You know, they were unstoppable for a while, but that's that's what companies will do. If they are so good that they are unstoppable, you, you crash at some point. There's just no way around it. I, it's so sad how companies have to go. If you don't grow, you die. You just die. So you can't just keep being awesome forever, you know. Otherwise, it's it's gonna be like Telltale Games, and you just die. So you have to keep growing, and if you keep growing, you crash at some point too. You're like you're too big, you're diluted, your talent is all over the place, your roles, your it's not that small, tight, passionate company that it used to be. Now it's just sold to Activision, it's soulless. It's a soulless factory, so I don't expect the, the titles of my favorite series to to keep the quality standards over time and the creativity. So I have much less expectations out of a game like Diablo 4. <laughs> like I'm sure it will be okay, Diablo 4. For a short time, probably. I don't think it will be like the new Diablo 2, something that people play for five years. But the game climate is so different too. There's so many good games every year. There's not really one game now that people will play for five years. <laughs> like when I was a teenager, there were less games and the people would play the top games, the top multiplayer games, for years. We would play Warcraft 3 for years. Well, much like, I think League of Legends is the closest game to that. Because people have been playing this game for like 10 years. It's pretty impressive. And I kind of like that, because I, I've always liked playing one game for like a really long time. <laughs> But I have not experienced that myself in a long time. Minecraft. Whatever works. Yeah, they got rid of the auction house and everything that was terrible with it. Because uh, Diablo 3 at launch, they tried to to add some MMO features to it, like World of Warcraft features. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Because in Diablo 2, we, we used to trade, you know, we would grind and grind and grind. The game was super grindy. And then we would trade with other people. But... They had like this big, this giant like World of Warcraft like auction house and even a paid one with money, oh my gosh. So you could just kind of, you could just pay to win basically. It was so terrible. And also you would gain, you would reach max levels in two days. 
But back in my days, in Diablo 2. It's, it's rare that people would level up over level 70, because it was so grindy to go past that. And some crazy people like me would eventually get level 99, and it was like a, this huge accomplishment. <laughs> But, in Diablo 3 at launch, you would get level 60, which was the max back then, in 2 or 3 days. And then it became kind of a late game type of game, just like MMOs are. So that was another like MMO feature that they added. Hate it. <laughs> Can I even draw today? I'm not sure anymore. style to choose for this character, so it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit awkward. Hi Nito! Big. Should I make these eyes? <laughs> it makes him look super chibi, I don't know. Do I want this dog to be chibi looking? That's not bad. I guess. We're just sketching for now. To fire, so, yeah, to fire all of their bad employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need to clean up for sure. It's so crazy because up to like even 10 years ago, they were, Blizzard were known for being a company that have good benefits and like it's a great place to work in it wow that really changed <laughs>
Yeah. I had friends that always dreamed of working there as game developers. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Alright, well now that we have two shitty sketches, can we do another one? <laughs> Diablo 2 resurrected Alpha versus Diablo 2. Will they ban me if I show this content? If it's going on, I don't know why it's nobody's playing that. Remake, classic. <laughs> you know, technically I would still enjoy the graphics of the original one more, as I'm just someone who likes retro things as they were. But I would just enjoy a, a, re, a renewed hype of one of my favorite games for sure. It would be a way for me to just play the remake, share some of my old experiences with the community. I would love that. Yeah, I don't care much for the <laughs> improved graphics. I mean, it's just a reason to replay the game on stream. I'm starting to have a feeling that people will get over it very
We got four sketches out of what, six? Oof. <laughs> That was the evil. Um, okay, there's a weird Pikachu emote <laughs> and a Sing emote. Okay, that's what's left. Guess we're making some progress. Tomorrow I'll just like polish all of these sketches, transform them into beautiful emotes. Wondering if I have it in me for more sketches today. I might need some food energy <laughs> to keep going. Cute doggo. That's kind of nice. So these evil sketches, they can work. I think everything works. Maybe you want to try a thing or two on the cute one. Definitely need that second ear there. Seems to add a thing. singing emote. I've done one before. Hmm. Alright, I think uh, I'm already out of energy. I didn't have that much energy to start with today, sadly. Gotta talk to the doctor about it. Give me better meds. Yeah, but I'm sure I'm gonna feel better the rest of the week. Because it's, al it's always around the time that I take my meds once a week. <laughs> Makes me super like, tired. So, I expect to have more energy tomorrow. But at least we got started with uh, like four sketches. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'll sketch the last two, polish the sketches, and start coloring them. That should be the fun part. Where's my music? Just <laughs>
Alright. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna head out even though it's pretty early. I'll just uh, be back tomorrow with some more energy. And more emotes. We kind of have a little marathon of emotes to do this week. Because I have another batch of like 15 cute uh, raccoon emotes to make also after these six that I'd like to do uh, pretty fast. Get some rest. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go rest and maybe keep sketching very slowly offline to speed up the process. So have a good evening guys and thanks for subbing, thanks for lurking and I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye!